Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the affirmative action portion of the show. Before anybody inquires, no. I have not yet thought about the Roman Empire. Don't ask. Not here to talk about Worcester. Or as I call it, White Dorchester. I can say that because I grew up in the original Dorchester. Although I no longer reside there because I wanted to live long enough to tell you that. Which brings me to my elephant on the shoulder. Why does that ghetto Powerpuff girl have a championship title? <laughs> Doesn't he think that's stupid? I do not think that. I know it. <laughs> but I brought it with me as a symbol of authority. And I'm using that authority to put forth a question. Because while living in Dorchester, I did learn a thing or two, a thing. <laughs> Don't want to oversell it. I learned, apparently, pimping ain't easy. <laughs> Who knew? You know what else isn't easy? Being pimped. <laughs> so my question is, why is that never brought up in this apparent labor dispute? <laughs> Not making a statement. Just asking questions. Statements get tricky. Questions are fine. If I've learned nothing else from modern media, you can ask whatever you want, as long as it's only a question. For example, have you ever not punched somebody in the face and then two weeks later thought, maybe you should have? <laughs> not making a statement, just asking questions. Such as, Fuck, marry, kill. Word association game or timeline of a toxic relationship? <laughs> Not making a statement. Just asking questions. Such as, the last time you told somebody to go fuck themselves, did you consider whether or not they deserve the pleasure? <laughs> Not making a statement, just asking questions. Such as, you ever heard somebody say, oh my God, and your response is, he's my God too, you know, you're just selfish, that's your problem. <laughs> Not making a statement, just asking questions. Such as, 69, popular sex act or memorable summer. <laughs> Not making a statement, just asking questions. Children, why? Yeah. <laughs> What's the point? Like at this stage of civilization, why bother? <laughs> oh, I'm making a statement now. <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking. Oh great, another black guy that hates kids. That is not true. I'm only half black. I'm also half Hispanic. A niggerican, if you will. And if you will, please don't. Look, kids are fine, all right? They're like drugs. If you live in New Haven. You might like having them around, but do you want any in your house? You have to look at somebody and say, yes, sir, those are mine. No, I care, see? Do children deserve to be subjected to whatever's going on out there? They didn't ask for any of this. Overpriced health care, divisive politics, people who thought that the human centipede wasn't that bad. <laughs> All I'm saying is before you have children, think of the children. I have. That's why I don't have any. I'm helping. 
I have been practicing virginism for 37 years. Three more years, I'll be the perfect candidate for the 40-year-old virgin sequel. We're back. He's black, and he's kept it all in the sack. <laughs> the downside is I'm terrible at dirty talk. What do I think of 69? Great summer. In conclusion, in case you haven't noticed, I've noticed, you're probably looking at me and listening to me and notice that the optics and the audio don't match. Like I look like you'll get back to me, but I sound like I'm hired. <laughs> I am currently the whitest sounding person in Hamden, Connecticut. Despite being darker than Kurt Cobain's in their most thoughts. Which is not racism, it's self-awareness. <laughs> now, if anything I've said to you tonight seems to be a bit off color, keep in mind how I feel. A new year is coming up, and I, for one, am aware of it. And come February, I'm going to have to go through all of Black History Month looking like the victim while sounding like the problem. <laughs> But whenever I step on a stage like this, I can say whatever I want, which isn't fair, but it's okay. Because no matter what I say, I look black enough to get away with it. But I sound white enough to make you listen.